girl Crystal O and today I'm going to be teaching you and showing you why you should ditch the hair salon and try out this really cute style like y'all what who is she who is she okay Crystal O TV that's who she is um but yes I'm going to be showing you guys how I created the style this hair was sent to me by Naseyo I'm going to be showing you my step-by-step process of installing it as well as how I kind of got it you know looking very goddessy and like you know just kind of bringing that out more so let's go ahead and jump into it. if you are new here go ahead and subscribe if you are not new here subscribe it goes a long way in supporting my channel so make sure you comment below like and subscribe if you're not already doing so let's go ahead and get started with this process first I'm going to start off with clean hair and this is basically what the pack of hair looks like. This is in color four, 14 inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my crochet pen, my hair, and I'm gonna show you guys the texture of this hair. So as you can see, it does feel very smooth. The braids are very organized, which I love. So yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna begin by brushing my hair out and I'm going to be using the Let's Jam Extra Hold. If you know, you know. This stuff does wonders to your hair when you're braiding. All right, now that I'm done with brushing my hair out, I kind of, you know, wonder if this is what I really wanna do in my life, but <laughs> we're doing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and first clean up my edges. I'm going to be taking little bits of jam in my hand like so like that and then after that I'm going to just go ahead and section up my hair to make it more easily understandable and braidable. I'm gonna be using these clips that I purchased from the beauty supply store and yeah. So now that I did that, I wanted to quickly do one side of my head and then show you all how I did the other side. So first I'm going to grab my comb and I'm just going to section off a square. So after I section off the square piece, I'm going to want to make sure that it's very neat. I'm going to want to make sure that it just basically looks like a clear cut line. After that, I'm going to do another side. And here you can see I'm gonna add my extra jam. And then I'm going to apply it to that whole line of hair that I'm going to be braiding. I'm gonna add some to the individual braid and then I'm going to begin braiding. So this is basically just going to be a very, very basic braid. Cut out your three pieces of hair and then begin to cross them over and create your braid. A lot of the style is made up with just braiding and your braids don't have to be super, super tight, but I would recommend that at least at the root, it is clean and it is pretty, pretty solid. So towards the end, I typically will do a twist because your girl is tired and if it gets the job done faster, then why not? So I'll typically just do a little twist just to make it faster. And this is basically what that looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my second braid. On this line of hair, I'm going to end up doing about four braids. Um, honestly, it will vary based off of the amount of hair you have, what you're comfortable with, and how far back you want your single braids to kind of appear. So after I'm done, this is what my braids look like. I'm going to go ahead and section off the back where the, you know, corn row is going to continue from. And this part doesn't have to be neat. So now I'm going to go ahead and create my braid corn row and kind of set that up. And now I'm just going to corn row as if I was literally corn rowing my hair. And I'm going to feed in the fourth one and then I'm going to feed in my loose hair at the back so this will require quite a bit of 
holding my hair is on the shorter end so i definitely had to make sure that i was holding it well if your hair is a lot shorter than mine you can always use um you know attachment or extensions to help with the process i believe i have a video on me doing my hair with uh, extensions so i will link that in my description bar just in case you want to watch that so this is basically what the ending part looks like so now that we have that done, okay, <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and continue. So now we are going to continue this process and basically just like how I showed you, I didn't feel the need to repeat it, but just wanted to show you guys what it looks like in a fast motion. All right, so that is done. Y'all, this low-key low looks... So now I'm just going to go ahead and braid across and tuck the hair into the last bit of it. Alright, so let's go ahead and begin the crocheting process. So with crochet, I'm just going to go ahead and stick my crochet pin into the braid of hair section. And I'm going to manually close it because I just prefer to be able to close it myself. And I'm going to pull it through. After pulling it through, I'm going to want to go ahead and make sure this hole is big enough. And then I'm going to draw it through the hole. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I'm cleaning it up as I'm working. As you can see, you're just going to want to, um, yeah, just make sure you're not messing up the hair, but instead working with the hair. So as you can see, when I pushed down, I was able to get a much smoother effect with getting that hair out. So that's basically a way to go about putting them in. So now I'm going to continue this process and I'm going to just keep on adding my individual crochet braids to my hair. This is basically what it's looking like so far. This does look very, very good. Um, of course, my edges look crazy, but they look good. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do a side part. So when doing a side part, you're gonna wanna combine two of your cornrow braids, and you're just going to grab a crochet braid, add it onto your crochet pin, and then drag it through. After that, you're gonna wanna pull through to lock it, take your hair through it, and then you're just going to pull down. This is basically going to create a section for you just to add a part into your hair. If you enjoy parts, this is basically what that part would look like. All right, so this is what the hair looks like. It looks really, really good. So as you can see, it is full of curls and it is pretty fluffy. I'm just gonna go through and cut off a piece of the hanging hair just to kind of give me a reduced um, you know fullness because I do want the hair to still be uh, defined so I'm gonna just go ahead and cut off some of the strings um, pretty much what I'm doing is I'm going through I'm cutting one out of the two uh, hairs that are on it and that's kind of what I'm doing I'm gonna go ahead and apply my got to be gel on my edges and then after this, I am going to uh, wrap them up because they need to be laid, okay? They need to be laid. And y'all, my face is crazy. I was in the process of doing my makeup, so please, no judgment. <laughs> I promise, I know it's not blended. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down. After I'm going to be adding some mousse as my finishing touch and voila. All right, so just finished beating my face. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here. I feel like it's like when the edges come out, 
you know it's time okay you know it's done baking and then the whole look is just complete so let's go ahead and take this off i always like to blend a little bit totally forgot to add some bronzer so i'm gonna go ahead and do that bronzer right here oh and this is basically what the look is looking like guys um let me know your thoughts about it are you feeling the look i think it's really cute i'm probably gonna do some ways to style this um hair i'm going to um have it on my channel so stay tuned for that video um but yeah let me know your thoughts on this style i definitely think it looks natural um it definitely gives off single braid vibes from this angle and like this angle and like if you pack it like upwards it definitely gives off single braid vibes so that's what i'm here for okay i want it to look like single braids but this is basically the style i think i'm gonna wear it like this for the most part like you know just kind of in front of my face like little peekaboo you know um but yeah i think it's really cute if you are new here go ahead and subscribe if you are not new here and you're not subscribed click that subscribe button it definitely goes a long way in supporting my channel and supporting my content if you are not following me over on instagram go ahead and follow me at crystal tv like this video comment below with your thoughts on this hairstyle would you try it and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye